Mathstudio.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics Lesson 39, Part 2 Representing inequalities on a number line If we're going to show the inequality x is greater than 2 on a number line all we need is a number line which is a line with numbers stuck on it and as long as it includes the number we're looking at and a few more one would try and normally include naught if it was not too far away and that will do put a circle on the number and it says greater than we just make that look a bit thicker like that and that will do that is showing the inequality x is greater than 2 on the number line. So here's a neater picture of it. A number line with any numbers as long as it includes the number you're working on. And be nice to have naught as well. Doesn't matter how many other numbers you have. Draw a circle. Could be there, could be there. And then just draw a line. Let's look at this one then. This one says, show the inequality x is bigger than or or equal to 4. Bigger than or equal to 4. So again, we draw a circle there. And we draw a nice line there. But it includes 4, so we colour that in. And that is it. A couple more to make the point really clear. I'm sure it is already, but here we go. x is less than 1. So we draw a circle at 1. And we do less than. We continue the line for as long as the number line we bother to draw may be a bit more. There you go. X is less than or equal to 4. So we do that. We draw a line less than. And how long do we draw it? Well, keep going until you run out of numbers. Depends how many numbers you do. And then colour it in because it says or equal to. A ruler would have been nice, I suppose, wouldn't it? But anyway, that does the job. Now a double inequality, reading it from the inside, x is between minus 3 and plus 1, doesn't include either, job done. x is between minus 2 and 4, so that's the between minus 2 and 4, doesn't include the minus 2 but it does include the 4. x is between minus 4 and plus 4, minus 4 and plus 4, so that shows that bit. Includes the minus 4, but doesn't include the 4. x is between 0 and 3, so that's the x is between 0 and 3, it includes the 0. That doesn't need that minus sign there at all. Moving on to questions where the diagram has been drawn and we have to write down the inequality. Write down the inequality represented on this number line. So it goes from minus 2 to 5. So that's the first bit. It's between minus 2 and 5. Doesn't include either. Finished job. This one goes from minus 5 to 0. So x is between minus 5 and 0. It includes the minus 5. That's that done. And the last one. Write down the inequality represented on the number line by this diagram. It goes from, well, I'll put it out there, minus 2 to plus 5. So x is between minus 2 and plus 5. Both of them are coloured in, so both of them it could be equal to. And the last one. x goes from minus 6 to plus 4. So x is between minus 6 and plus 4, and it includes 4. Exercise 39, part 2, finish that.